Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 34 and in this video we are going to take a look at how to split and merge arrays using the array slice and the array merge functions. Okay, so of course to start things off we need an array which I've gone ahead and used the array from the previous tutorial but I just want to make this array a little bit longer so that we actually have some elements to work with over here. So I'm going to add in another fruit. Uh, we'll just add in banana and then I think the last one can just be blueberries or something. Okay, cool. So now we've got an array that's just a little bit longer so we've got a little bit more to work with here. Now let me show you guys how to use the array slice function. Okay, so obviously the name is array slice, uh, array underscore slice, and this array actually takes three different arguments. Okay, the first one is the array that you would like to cut. So in this case, we are going to be using the fruit array. So we might as well just go ahead and throw that array in there. The next argument is where you would like to start cutting from. So in other words, if you wanted to start cutting from the first element, then you'd go ahead and put a 1 in here. But let's go ahead and start cutting from apples. So we'll start cutting from the second element. And I'm actually lying because this is 0, 1, 2. Okay, well, whatever. We'll, we'll see where we get to with 2. Okay, and the next element uh, or the next argument sorry that we are going to have to supply is how long would you like to cut for so in other words if you wanted to cut from apples to strawberries that is three elements so you, you would obviously put a three in here again if you wanted to just cut one element out like apples then you just have to put a one but let's go ahead and start cutting at element 2 or position 2 and then uh, cut for three elements and see where we end up okay and I'm actually going to store this in a new array okay because once you've used this function you actually get an array back so uh, this new array variable is actually going to be holding uh, a new array that we would have made with this function so now let's just go ahead and display all of this out. Obviously to do that, it's an array, so we have to loop uh, through the array. So we'll go ahead and say uh, for each uh, new array as value. And then obviously break down here and just echo out the value. followed by a break tag so that everything appears on a new line. Don't forget the quotes. Okay, cool. So now that we've done this, we should actually uh, cut a, an array out of this array and then obviously uh, display everything that is in our new array. So let's see what we get in the browser. Strawberries, banana, blueberries. Okay, so we actually started cutting from strawberries and we went along for three uh, different elements. So if we wanted to start from apples, then we'd start at uh, the first element, obviously. So let's go back here and click refresh, apple, strawberries, banana. Okay, so that's how to actually split an array into a, like a subarray. Now let's uh, take a look at how to merge two arrays. So obviously to do that, we need to have two arrays. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all of that. And we'll make a new array called food. And obviously this is going to be an array. And we'll just put in four elements here. So one, two, three, four. And the first one can be uh, burgers. The second one can be pizza 
and that can be fries. So basically all unhealthy food and pies. Okay, cool. So now we've got two arrays. Let's take a look at how to merge them. So I'm gonna make a new variable here called merged arrays. And obviously this is gonna be an array which is gonna be equal to the sum of both of these arrays. So it's gonna be those two arrays that are merged. Okay, and we're gonna use a function called array merge, so array underscore merge. And this function actually takes in two arguments as well. So the first argument is obviously the first array that you want to uh, merge, and then the second argument is the second array that you'd like to merge. Okay, so now this uh, variable here, merged arrays, is actually equal to this array and that array. Okay, so if we go ahead and display this out, we should get oranges, apples, strawberries, banana, blueberries, burgers, pizza, fries, and pies all echoed out onto the screen. So let's go ahead and see if we've done everything correctly. So for each um, merged array as value, and then we'll just echo out um, the value and append on a break tag as well. Break. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and save this now. Go back to Firefox. Click refresh. And as you can see, we have now echoed out oranges, apples, strawberries, all the way down to pies. So we did indeed join these two arrays into one array called merged arrays. Cool, so I hope that comes in handy and that's actually all I have for you guys in this video. But as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.